Good morning, Modern Steaders. Yesterday, I got the paperwork in the mail from the logger. So I thought we could go over that this morning while we're putting another coat of oil on the goat milk and stanchion. Once the goat milk and stanchion's assembled, this is how it's gonna look. I don't have it put together yet because I want to be able to get a good coat of finish on everything. Let's start at the beginning with the whole logging process. The reason we got it logged this year is me and Gina were talking. We knew we wanted to get goats. And we're like, oh, we want to get goats. You know, we want to expand the farm and stuff like that. But we really can't do much until we get the land cleared. So we said, okay, we're getting the goats. We're just gonna build a small temporary barn for now. We're not gonna worry about something big. So we build a big barn, it's gonna be on top of the house. So we said, we'll look into getting the land cleared. Not thinking it was going to be feasible, thinking it was gonna cost us money just to get the wood cut. So we called up a logger. He said, yep, we can cut it. And I said, is it gonna cost us anything? He said, no, it won't. I said, can we get that in the contract? He said, yes. And we'll also put in the contract, if there's any extra money coming back, it'll come back to you. I said, okay. And I asked him, I said, so when you're saying money coming back, could there be $6,000 coming back? He looked at me and laughed. <laughs> no, not on four acres. I said, okay, $2,000 coming back off of four acres? He looked at me, gave me a look, didn't say anything. I said, okay. I said, what do you think it's gonna cost to clear the land? He said, it'll cost between four and $6,000 to have us stump it. I said, all right, do it whenever you can do it. Cut it and then let me know what's going on. He told me it would take about a day for them to cut it. When they showed up with the equipment, the guy in the fellow buncher, that's the machine that cuts the trees down. I'll put a link to that video right here. I was talking with him, he's like, yeah, I'll be done by lunchtime. Maybe it takes me all day, but we'll be all day, all done today, cutting your lot. I said, all right. Come the end of the day, he says, I still got another day's worth of work. It took him two solid days of cutting to get all the trees and all the lumber cut down. Now, I also know this logger that we used was not full me full of crap because my father was a logger. He looked at our property and he didn't think it was worth it to get cut. He told us that it would cost us to have our lot cut. So that's why we had this in our mindset. So once we had it all cut, he brought the excavator in and we talked to him. We said, yep, we didn't have all the numbers finalized yet. We said, bring it in. We'll start the process and we'll see where we're at. We knew a whole bunch of wood went out. I think it was 16 loads of wood chips went out. We had seven or eight loads of logs go out. So going over our numbers, we got a list in the mail back from the logger and we got all the logging tickets. So we have everything that left here for wood and what went to the mills and what mills it went to. We had 441.69 tons of wood chips leave the property. That's a lot of wood chips. We had 53, no, we had 55 board feet, I believe it's board feet, MBF. So it's some kind of board feet of hardwood pulp leave. We had 37 MBFs, which is five tractor trailer loads of pine board feet or something like that. If you guys know what MBF stands for, leave it in the comments down below. But it has to do with how they measure the logs to know how much lumber they're gonna get out of it. So that was five truck loads of the big white pine. We had 1.75 loads of the hardwood. 
So we made most of our money off of the white pine logs. Those were brought to a lumber company and they were milled up into pine boards. And that's where we got over $6,000 worth of money back towards us. I believe it was just over 7,300 bucks that we got back from the logging part of it. So it paid for all the land to get logged and then we had 7,300 bucks that we would have got back. But we put that back into getting the stumps removed. And we had 38 and a half hours of excavator time done here to get all the stumps removed. That came to around 6,300 bucks. And then we had an hour of trucking fee to get the excavator here and back. So all said and done, we're getting back $855 after the excavation was done from having it logged. So the pretty cool part is all of this started because me and Gina were talking about getting the goats this year. And after we got it all logged, the goats are getting paid for by the logging. I just wanna say God has a good sense of humor and I just find it awesome when you can make connections like that. So we're getting the goats this Saturday on the tongue oil. We let it sit and absorb in and then you wipe it off. You don't leave it on there to dry completely. So we'll wipe it off and we'll do some more coats after this one dries. This is the third coat so far. While I was feeding the pigs this morning, I noticed they've been being a little rough to the automatic pig feeder and we need to fix the hinges. Afternoon, girls. I scare you. I gotta fix your feeder. Let me in, let me in. I know, I gotta let you out pretty soon. The screws on the hinge came out. They were too short, the ones that come with it. You gotta do this fast as they're trying to eat the tripod. What are you doing, mister? You're a crazy cat. Who loves being outside, huh? What are you doing? <laughs> the broody hen ain't gonna like it when I collect her eggs. Man, look at all those flowers of them tomatoes. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That one's starting to get some flowers too. I like it. Squash plants are doing nice. Yeah, the beets are coming in nicely. I think some carrots are starting to come up now too. Cool beans. Yeah. Right here we got some carrots. Yeah. No, not full of it. The green beans are doing good.
Wow, those got big. Huh? They got big. Yeah. <laughs> Grew a sponge in a day. Look at them roots. Man, we already got a tomato started. <laughs> we got a tomato. Little bitty baby. Oh, look at right baby. there. Oh. That's super oh. early for us. Awesome. What should I say? Cool tomato? Pretty cool. Our first tomato. I don't know if you can see that, guys, and I but look at them two huge bears. That's crazy. Just chilling on the rock wall. What are you doing, mister? <laughs> 